Hi, this is Colleen from Keeping the Peace and welcome back to another episode of Colleen Answers Your Questions. Today's question comes, mm, well, I don't have what video it came from, so I'm not sure about the down bar. It was actually, I think, a linked comment from somewhere. I'm not really sure. <laughs> so sorry about that. I don't know which, which video it came under. But the handle on YouTube is Seat Dragon, Sea Dragon Tattoo 17. I totally butchered that. Sea Dragon Tattoo 17. <laughs> Here that is. Okay, sorry, but I butchered your YouTube name. Hi, Colleen. I have progressive eyeglass lenses. You mentioned in a recent video that you also have them and that you have had to make adjustments to how you look at your sights. Can you explain the adjustment that you've made that has worked for you? I'm struggling with which part of the lens to use. One way, the more natural feeling way, my sights are just a tiny bit less than clear. I wouldn't say they're super blurry, they're just not crystal clear, and I can still line them up with a slightly blurry target. The other way, I tilt my chin up a little, which makes the sights crystal clear and the target blurrier. It's not uncomfortable, it's just a little less natural feeling and I have to do it consciously. Not sure if one way should be preferred over the other. A little blurry but natural, more comfortable head position or crystal clear sights and a blurry target like it should be with a little less comfortable chin up tilt. If this could make a good if this could make a good asking questions video, feel free. Thanks. Awesome, because I'm using it. Here we are today. Um, really good question. And I've been in progressive lenses, which is what we used to call a trifocal. You just can't see the lines anymore. I've been in that type of lens for about seven years now. Um, and in the beginning, it was really, really difficult. I'll just be straight up and tell you it was very difficult because I was so used to having that natural head position that you mentioned. Uh, what we naturally want to do is look out the top part of our lens, like look straight the way I'm looking at you right now. Uh, what you're doing when you're shooting is you're taking an object that's at arm's length, which is close enough to need at least your middle lens, most likely your middle lens, so you have a top one, a middle one, and a bottom one. If you have strict bifocals, you probably won't have to do this, but if you have three, you probably will. If I put my pen out there, which is where my sights would be, I have to use the middle lens in order to see it clearly, and that's what I've trained myself to do. At first, it did feel unnatural, as you mentioned. It felt really odd, <laughs> and it, that's true. Uh, but over time, after you do it enough times, your head will naturally go where it needs to go. And if you've all been watching my videos for a while, as I demonstrate things, you may have noticed that I do this. When I hold my gun up and I do side in sights, you may have noticed that I do tilt my head slightly. And that's why. So I have top lens, and if I hold this out there, it's very blurry. I'm in the viewfinder and I am clear, okay? I have a painting on the wall over there. It's perfectly clear through that lens, but my pen is blurry, the tip of my pen, which is where my sights would be. So you can do this with a pen. You can do it with your thumbs. A pen's what we'll use right now because that's just what's convenient. So if you have progressive lenses, do this with me. Stick your pen out there and tilt your head until the end of the pen is clear. Okay, so if you have a painting on the wall or a light switch plate or something that's further than your pin, go ahead and use that as your proverbial target, okay? So stick the pin out there and tilt your head until it's clear. Now this is my natural head position. This is where I tilt to get the end of the pin to be clear. If I tilt to my bottom lens, it becomes blurry again because that's not quite the right distance for my bottom lens. That's for reading up close, okay? So it's your middle lens that you're wanting, most likely. I think it would probably be the same for you as it is for me. So it's not an extreme tilt. You don't want your bottom lens. It's the middle one. And you have to find that and then memorize that head position. The more you do it, the more your body will just naturally go there. So pin goes out, natural head tilt. Well, it's not natural, but it's going to become natural. It's natural for me now because I've done it so many times. So pin out, head back. Okay, so just do that over and over until you kind of memorize that spot. At first, it's going to feel like this. You stick it out and you're like, ooh, <laughs> you're, you know, trying to find that perfect spot because since you can't see the divisions in your progressive lens, you don't know exactly where that middle one is. You have to learn that. When you're going about your daily life with a progressive lens, especially if you've just transitioned into them, you probably don't even realize that you use your middle one. You realize when you use your bottom one because... You, you do a pretty good tilt, or you have the book down here and you're looking at it down here. 
So this is a little more difficult to fine tune, but it can be done. So really good question. If any of you guys have progressive lenses and you shoot and you have made this type of adjustment, talk about it down in the down bar. I'd love to hear what your experience is with this. Um, for me, it took probably a few months for the head tilt to be memorized and natural. Now it would be unnatural for me to hold the gun out there straight because I've been doing this for so long. So uh, it's just kind of a natural thing for me. I would love to hear the experience that you have had with shooting in progressive lenses. If you also are a person who shoots with the old style uh, visible <laughs> bifocal, talk about that also and see. It. let us hear whether that affects your shooting. Do you have to do any kind of a head tilt? I would say probably not with a strict bifocal. Um, but if you're progressive, you probably do have to do that. Now, your question, let me kind of come at it from a different angle. You said, is it better to have slightly blurry sights and a more blurry target, or is it better to have crystal clear sights and a blurry target? I would say the latter. It's definitely better to work, at least in the beginning, with crystal clear sights until you've really trained your body to shoot well sighted. Eventually, the more you do it, your body's going to aim that gun. You're just going to confirm it with your eyes, and it's not going to be as big a deal to get it perfectly locked in because your body's going to just memorize what to do over time. This is for people who practice a lot, okay? Um, I hope I've answered your question. If not, please let me know in the down bar that I didn't, <laughs> but hopefully I did. Thank you all for watching this series. I love interacting with you guys this way, getting to know you guys, and you're keeping me on my toes and making me think, and it's, it's great because I learn from this too. It also makes me kind of analyze what I do more because I'm trying to spit it out to you in a way that makes sense. So hopefully I'm doing that. Please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and recommend it to your friends that have progressive lenses. And uh, thank you for sticking with me in this series. It's gone so much further than I thought it would. I thought we might have 10 episodes and uh, I don't even know what episode this is, but I think we're close to 80. So thank you all for sticking with it and for continuing to submit really good questions. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.